Hey gang, I'm back in business. Welcome to the YouTube channel designed to help grow your business. I say I'm back in business. I'm back in the office for the first time in four months working with my team. I'm super excited, but I'm gonna tell you about the things that I've struggled with over the last four months so that you in turn can grow your business. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below as we go, because I wanna know what you're thinking. Let's go. So guys, here we are, we're outside the farm truck, which is our brand new business that we set up during the pandemic, during the coronavirus. And I had to do this because I wanted to keep my team in play. And basically this was an old barn that we had that wasn't really doing anything. We did run our pumpkin picking patch from here in October half term, but we've turned it into a full shop. Now we started just click and collect, but now it's people can come in and shop and it's going really well. Let me just give you a little tour around inside. One of the biggest problems are these bad boys. 29p we're selling these for, cost us about 22p to buy in. That's like seven pence, you gotta do a lot of seven peas to make some money. Pay for the staff, pay for the electric. I mean, that fridge over there, I think it's £3.50 a day. When you work out, you've got loads of fridges and freezers and all of that, you know, just so much. It's a margin. That's one of my biggest struggles with this type of business. How can you protect the margin? How can you get margin to pay for all the X's in the business? I've got an idea on how we can do that with my rewards card, which I think is something that all businesses should be doing. Come on. So here it is. This is my rewards card, the idea that I come up with, because I'm a big fan of making your customers feel like members of your business. Costco do this, Amex do this. So when you sign up to reward card, £6.95 a month, you get exclusive offers, 5% discount on everything. But my feelings are, if we can get 1,000 members signed up, and that's sort of 6,950 a month times 12, then there's a big chunk of profit there before you start. And I think I've got this idea, like Costco make most of their profits from their members, from membership fees, and I think it make people choose us because they're paying to be a part of us, and we'll give them the best customer service, best deals, better deals than anyone else. So we're gonna start dual pricing everything in the shop. So it'll be £6.99, for non-members, 550 for members, you see. And that's one of my ideas of way increasing the margin in this shop, be able to look after people. Next thing is joint ventures to get customers. One of my biggest struggles during the pandemic was doing our traditional marketing methods. Oh, we like doing what I call very non-digital marketing, like leaflets through doors, high streets, giving leaflets out, doing food tasting sessions, because that's how people can really taste your stuff. And I thought, oh my God, that's really difficult to do through this pandemic. So what we looked for was to joint venture with people that had followings, like Cook, fantastic Kent-based company. They do frozen food prepared by chefs and then immediately frozen. They've got a following. So what they did on their social media following was saying, hey, we're now stocking at Marsh Farm. We went further, we also dealt with Rossi Ice Cream. Now, just stay here, Chuck. A couple of these bad boys. Look at these, see, this is Rossi Ice Cream of South End on Sea. If you're from Essex, like your big thing, this is like, you know, oh, it's an Essex staple part of diet. So they're sending people to us. They're saying, look, we're stocked at Marsh Farm. And that's great, that brings customers to us. So we've been looking at loads of joint venture partnerships. And I don't think small business owners and SMEs do that enough. Now you can do that through Instagram influencers, but it really helps to get customers and get people through your doors. And we've done that with about seven or eight different products in the shop that have driven customers to us for free. Next thing I've really struggled with is accepting that standards are not gonna be as good. I mean, like these white poles up here and not getting all the shop units in and understanding that we didn't even have trolleys when we started. I think there's a big lesson here for entrepreneurs. You know, with this pandemic, we've all had to learn that things can't always be as perfect as you want them to be. And I've had to accept that, but we've improved. We've continuously improved. I think that's the big message here. Start now and improve and get better and better. And then, then you're on your way, aren't you? And then you can start building a great business. It's a big lesson for entrepreneurship. And my last biggest struggle has been not working with my team. I'm a big believer that working with your team drives innovation, drives culture, drives the business forward. These people here are our head office, our HQ people that are driving those ideas forward and turning stuff into reality. Now there's some big movements at the moment saying that people are not gonna work in offices anymore, that we don't need to work in offices anymore, that we don't need to be around team members. I completely disagree. I think we're tribal people, human beings. Yeah, there might be some bitchiness, not in our office, we just won't accept it, but that's bad culture in a business and that needs to be repaired. So much so that I posted this little video on LinkedIn where it's got quite controversial. People haven't agreed with me. I said, James, I think you're wrong. I don't think we do need to be in an office environment. Well, I think they're wrong. And I made this video here. If you click it, that's my last video where I'm talking about all the reasons why working with people is so important. Click it here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking here. Comment below and let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.